Hi, everyone. Welcome in. Got the NFL Live crew, Victor Cruz, Louis Riddick. I'm Susie Culver. Draft day is almost here. We get to ask Lewis one of his favorite questions. <laughs> Do you believe that the trade up to take Patrick Mahomes is maybe the best draft day trade of all time? Yeah, it is because of the importance of the position, how unique of a situation this was in terms of the fit between Andy Reid and Pat Mahomes, and then really how it just all manifests itself with his performance that he had this, just this past year on the football field. You can't have expected to, there have been a better return on your investment than what you got here. Look, before the season started, Susie, I said, look, if Pat could throw 30 touchdowns and be top 10 in passer rating in the league, that would be a tremendous hit as far as your number one pick, as far as the quarterback position is concerned. To throw 50 touchdowns and over 5,000 yards, are you kidding? I mean, for your first-year starter, it doesn't get any better than that. I mean, you, how, how can you top that at the most important position in the league that's emphasizing quarterback play the way it's, the way it's emphasizing it? Yeah, I agree. I feel like when you have a guy like Patrick Mahomes and you see the body of work that he's produced this year, it's hard to say that that wasn't the best thing that they've done, especially the biggest thing that probably people don't talk about enough is the fit. I mean, the fit of him with Andy Reid, with the type of quarterback that he is and the level uh, uh, and his accuracy and the things he does with his arm and the, the level of offense that Andy Reid runs – it's conducive to the type of player that he is. It helps him in every way, shape, or form. And then sitting out that one year gave him that learning curve of like, okay, I know what it is to be a quarterback here. Now I can put that out there on the field and then add my own flair to Hindsight's it. Hindsight's 20, 20 but do you feel it in, in any way at the time it was a gamble? It, it is a little bit because, look, there was some concern about Pat and his tendency to take risks at Texas Tech in that style of offense. But as soon as you saw where he went – you knew that Andy would strike the perfect balance between letting him still be who he was while at the same time reigning in men within the context of that offense. And, let's let, and let me say this, and we've talked about this, the importance of Alex Smith having been there kind of really set the table for this trade to go ahead and be as successful as it was. They set everything up perfectly for this young man to go ahead and have the season that he did. And that, that's something that, that cannot be dismissed when you're talking about what leads to successful player personnel acquisition because it was the perfect, perfect recipe. Yeah, they set him up for greatness. I mean, when, they, when, when you're set up like that, when you come in, you're learning behind a guy that is probably the most exemplary guy to learn from in Alex Smith. And then you learn the nuances of the game. And then you get to your year. Now it's your time. You understand what it is. You understand Andy Reid's going to let you be you as long as you keep it within the context and as long as you're winning games. And I feel like Patrick Mahomes did that. Almost an incredible number to, to wrap this up with. Over the last three years, 10 of the 11 quarterbacks picked in the first round have been drafted by a team that traded up. Wow. 